Mountain Mitsubishi of Hickory offers free roadside repair or replacement and a price match guarantee on all their tires. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. This is the WHKY News, and it's time for the Crime Report. I'm Ralph Mangum. We'll check in with Rob and Ariana momentarily, but I'll go first. At about 3 a.m. Friday, Statesville police responded to a shots-fired call on the 1900 block of Gay Street. Upon arrival, officers were told that a subject had been shot multiple times, but had already been transported to the hospital via a private vehicle. A search warrant for the residence was obtained to allow officers with the Criminal Investigations Division to process the scene. Officers also found and processed the vehicle in which the victim was transported. The victim is a 28-year-old Statesville resident. He arrived at Iredell Memorial Hospital with life-threatening wounds to his legs. He was flown to Wake Forest Baptist Regional Medical Center for further treatment, where he was last reported to be in critical condition. The investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information regarding the case should call the Statesville Police Department, 704-878-3406. The Alexander County Sheriff's Office has charged several individuals in connection with the shooting of a juvenile on June 6th in the Stony Point community. 28-year-old Chadrick Taekwon McGee of Statesville was arrested Friday by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony accessory after the fact. Also arrested was 37-year-old Tammy Amanda Shoemake of Taylorsville. She was charged with possession of a firearm by a felon and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. A juvenile suspect was arrested and charged with felony accessory after the fact. In addition, a 36-year-old female and an 18-year-old male, both from Stony Point, were arrested and charged with misdemeanor possession of a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Just after midnight on June 6th, Alexander County deputies responded to a reported shooting on South Thomas Lane in Stony Point. Officers found a juvenile male who had sustained multiple gunshot wounds. The victim gave a statement to officers at the scene. He was transported to a local hospital and then to a regional medical center. He has since been released. Following his arrest Friday, McGee was jailed under a $250,000 secured bond, while Shoemake was placed under a $25,000 secured bond. McGee was scheduled to make a first appearance in court today. Shoemake's next court date was set for July 22nd. The two suspects facing misdemeanor charges were each given a $1,500 bond and will appear in court on July 29th and August 5th. Previously, another juvenile male was arrested and charged with one count of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. Later, the charges were upgraded to attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious bodily injury, and robbery with a dangerous weapon. Thanks to WACB's Rick Gilbert, who contributed to that story. With details on a weekend arrest involving drugs and an illegal firearm, here's Rob Eastwood. The suspect in this case was arrested after police spotted a vehicle that was parked in an access area to the Greenway in Morganton at a time it was not supposed to be there. The suspect was charged with drug and weapon offenses and brought to the Burke County Jail. 36-year-old Johnny Lee of Morganton was arrested Saturday by Morganton Public Safety Officers. He's charged with possession with intent to sell and deliver methamphetamine, possession of meth, possession of a firearm by a felon, possession of drug paraphernalia, carrying a concealed weapon, second degree trespassing, and two counts of resisting, obstructing, and delaying a public officer. At 1.30 a.m. Saturday, officers with the Morganton Department of Public Safety found a vehicle parked at the Greenway off Greenlee Ford Road after hours. Officers attempted to speak to the male driver about the park being closed when they noticed drug paraphernalia lying in the front seat of the vehicle. Officers instructed the man to step out of the vehicle. However, he refused. The man continued to dig around his waistband and near the center console until officers made entry into the vehicle and detained him. It was later discovered that he was in possession of numerous bags containing meth and there was a pistol in the center console. A criminal history check of the driver revealed he was also a convicted felon. The driver of the vehicle, Johnny Lee, was placed under arrest and brought to the Burke County Jail under $55,000 secured bond. He had a Monday district court date scheduled. 
Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. And now WHKY's Ariana Mack wraps it up with some arrest from Caldwell County. A Lenore man is charged with felony possession of methamphetamine. 49-year-old Robert Wesley Setzer Jr. of Jimmy K. Lane in Lenore was arrested on Thursday by Hudson police officers. He was charged with one felony count, possession of methamphetamine. Setzer was jailed under $25,000, secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court appearance was scheduled for July 24th. A Granite Falls man has been charged with interfering with an electronic monitoring device. 38-year-old Brandon Lee Abshire of Poovy Drive in Granite Falls was arrested on Thursday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with felony counts of interfering with a monitoring device and failure to appear on a felony count. Abshire was jailed under $6,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. He is scheduled to appear in district court on July 24th and a superior court date was scheduled on August 5th and a Lenore woman charged with possession of methamphetamine. 42-year-old Jessica Lynn West of Smoky Creek Road in Lenore was arrested on Thursday by State Highway Patrol officers. She was charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor counts of driving while subject to impairing substance, driving left of center, and driving while license revoked due to an impaired driving revocation. West was jailed under $3,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for July 24th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana, and thank you all for joining us here on the Crime Report. Now for WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and to keep it legal.